Welcome to Druid. Druid is an impairment evaluation tool designed to help people stay safe and healthy and use drugs responsibly if they choose to use drugs. It is completely anonymous. We never collect any personally identifying information. When you are just beginning to use Druid, try the practice mode several times. When you feel ready, start doing baseline runs. If you have some reason to feel impaired, you can do a test run and Druid will give you the results. To measure impairment, Druid uses four tasks. Task one, measures reaction time and decision-making in two phases. In each phase, there are two shapes, or a circle or a square. Follow the screen instructions that tell you which shape is the target shape for that phase. Either to touch the screen where the circle flashed and touch the oval at the top when the square flashes, or to touch the screen where the square flashed and hit the oval when the circle flashes. The screen instructions tell you which shape is the target shape. Make your decision and touch the screen, or the oval, as fast and as accurately as you can. Phase two reverses which shape is the target shape. Task two, measures reaction time and time estimation. Pressing the start button starts the clock. While you are waiting for one minute to pass, touch the screen where each circle has appeared and count them. Again, be as fast and as accurate as you can. Press the stop button when you think 60 seconds have passed. Enter the number of circles that flashed when prompted. Task three, measures object tracking. When you touch the start button and then touch the circle on the screen, or after five seconds, the circle will start moving. Keep your finger on the circle as much as possible. While you are doing that, count the squares that flash on the screen. Enter the number into the box provided. Task four measures balance. First, you stand on your right foot with your left foot six inches off the ground, holding the iPad in your left hand. Hold the iPad as motionless as possible for 30 seconds. Then do the same thing standing on your left foot with your right foot raised, holding the iPad in your right hand, moving it as little as possible.